Mr. President, with this, I move that uh, uh, this motion is about the border closure, the impact of it on Nigerian economy. Aware, <coughs> the Senate is aware that the federal government of Nigeria last month temporarily ordered the closure of all land borders and it was alleged that economic activities in these areas have come to a halt with our neighbors. The Senate is aware that the federal government of Nigeria, sorry, the Senate recalled that during the Japan summit at Yokohama, the island of the Benin Republic met with President Muhammad Hari on the sidelines on the Seventh Tokyo International Conference for African Development, Tech 7, where President Bahari explained that the borders were shut by the federal government as a decisive measure to curb smuggling of unauthorized goods into Nigeria. The Senate notes that apart from the temporary closure of land borders, the Nigerian security agencies have resolved to secure the country's territorial integrity against transborder crime and criminality. This, is, this includes armed banditry and also cattle wrestling. The Senate further notes that as a result of the situation in the border towns, the Nigerian economy is experiencing a lot of positive derivatives that is impacting on the country. For instance, oil smuggling has significantly reduced, thereby saving the country billions of scarce foreign exchange spent by the Nigerian Petroleum Corporation, NMPC, to import foil into Nigeria. The group managing director of NMPC, during a press conference recently, stated that smugglers are no longer finding it easy to smuggle petroleum products through the land borders. Consequently, petroleum products have become readily available in every nook and cranny of this country. Uh, distinguished colleagues, you could recall that uh, even last year, our import bill on petroleum products alone was over two trillion naira. I'm sure because of this border closure, the bill will come to about 1.2 trillion. This is by no means a very good saving for this country at this point in time. The Senate notes that smuggling of textile and vegetable oil imported from Malaysia through the land borders, which has negatively affected local production, is equally grounded to a halt. The good news of the federal government action is that it has led to the revival of local production of vegetable oil and, and the increased employment generation within the country. Not only that, only yesterday uh, a colleague of us brought a motion on production of uh, palm kernels and, uh, and palm oil. Mr. President, I want to tell this fellow chamber that over 50 percent of the palm, palm oil that is being imported in this country comes illegally across the border. And they bring it in without payment of appropriate duty. You will see it in yearly terracons and it's being displayed virtually in every market in Nigeria. Equally, the smuggling of textile has come to a halt because close to about 40 to 45 percent of the textile being imported in this country come through the land border. And this is why the textile industries in Aba, in Kaduna, in Kano are virtually extinct. They are no longer existing because they cannot compete with the foreign textile brought from China, India, and other places. The Senate notes and appreciate 
other products like rice, processed frozen chicken, tomato puree and tomato paste, frozen fish, sugar that come into Nigeria through Benin to Cameroon Republic have also been stopped. Here, Mr. President, I want to state that before the closure of the borders, rice millers and rice farmers were facing a very serious situation to the extent that uh, the millers were threatening even to close. Farmers that went to the farm and produced paddy, they couldn't find buyers because rice had been smuggled into the country without paying appropriate custom duty of 70%. And it's been displayed openly without any challenge whatsoever. However, with this, Mr. President, now virtually all the millers are very busy milling uh, paddy that they buy from farmers. And farmers are now back to farm producing paddy for the millers to buy. As such, a lot of people are getting employment through this. The Senate appreciates other products like rice, as I said, processed frozen chicken, tomato puree and tomato paste, frozen fish, sugar that come into Nigeria through Benin Republic and land borders have also stopped. The Senate further notes that the most impactful of the benefits accruing to the country from this temporary border closure is the positive effect on the security situation in Nigeria. It has made it impossible for smugglers of small and light arms or light weapons to bring them into the country. This has reduced supply of arms and ammunition to bandits and insurgents that terrorize our people. The Senate is aware that the manufacturing sector has suddenly released a sigh of relief from the ongoing economic boost resulting in factories coming back into production. The third is concerned about the deteriorating security situation in Nigeria. It's slowing down, particularly because arms smuggling through land borders and foreign fighters coming in to boost the insurgency of Boko Haram and the Islamic State of West Africa collaborators has talked accordingly resolved to commend the President, Commander-in-Chief, on the very patriotic decision to temporarily shut down all our land borders in order to rectify the deteriorating effect on our economy of persistent smuggling of products that negatively affect the Nigerian economy and the well-being of our people. To urge the ministries of foreign affairs and the interior to increase diplomatic pressure or the diplomatic outreach to the government of the Republic of Benin, Cameroon, Niger, and Chad to take urgent measures to stop their countries from being used as smuggling based to perpetuate illegal importation of unwanted goods into Nigeria. Three, commend the Nigerian Customs Service and the Security Services for their role in intensifying the capping of smuggling across the borders and assure them that the Nigerian Service will serve them in their wondrous task of reading Nigeria of smuggled goods and services. Lastly, reassure friendly countries or friendly relations around that the world, the border closure should not be perceived as a punitive measure targeted at them, but a necessary action to save our economy from collapse and protect our people from terrorism and also insecurity. I so move, Mr. President.